Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel The Leopard by Giuseppe Tomasi di Lampedusa. For regular updates I request you to subscribe our channel, also you can join our community by becoming a member of our channel, you get access to a whole range of exclusive perks that will take your experience to the next level, so, what are you waiting for, joining our channel membership is easy, just click the join button below to unlock all these amazing perks and support our channel directly. Your membership helps us create more content and improve our videos for everyone. The themes of the novel are The characters in the novel are The Leopard by Giuseppe Tomasi di Lampedusa is a historical novel that tells the story of the decline of the Sicilian aristocracy in the 19th century. It follows the life of Prince Fabrizio Salina, a nobleman trying to adapt to the social and political changes brought about by the unification of Italy. The novel is set during the Italian Risorgimento, a period of social and political upheaval that led to the unification of Italy. The story begins in 1860, when Garibaldi's redshirts invade Sicily. Prince Fabrizio Salina, the main character, observes these changes with a mix of resignation and reflection. He realizes that the old ways of the aristocracy are fading. Prince Fabrizio's nephew, Tancredi, represents the younger generation. He is ambitious and willing to adapt to the new order. Tancredi falls in love with Angelica, the beautiful and wealthy daughter of a successful merchant. Their union symbolizes the merging of the old aristocracy with the rising bourgeoisie. The novel begins in May 1860, when Don Fabrizio, the Prince of Salina, and his family are living in their palace in Palermo. The family is part of the old Sicilian aristocracy, living a life of luxury and tradition. The prince is a towering, imposing figure, both physically and intellectually, who enjoys studying astronomy and contemplating the stars. He is also deeply aware of the changes happening around him, as Giuseppe Garibaldi's forces land in Sicily to begin the unification of Italy. The prince's family consists of his pious wife, Princess Stella, their numerous children, and his nephew, Tancredi Falconeri. Tancredi is a charming and ambitious young man who understands that the old ways are ending and aligns himself with the revolutionaries, saying famously, if we want things to stay as they are, things will have to change. The prince and his family travel to their estate in Donna Fugata, a fictional town in the Sicilian countryside. The move is both an escape from the turmoil in Palermo and a retreat to their traditional way of life. Donna Fugata is depicted as a sleepy, decaying town, emblematic of the old Sicilian aristocracy's decline. Upon arrival, they are greeted with respect and elaborate ceremonies, but the prince senses the shift in the air. The townspeople are increasingly supportive of the new regime, and the local mayor, Don Calogero Sadara, a wealthy and cunning man of humble origins, represents the rising new class. Don Calogero's daughter, Angelica, is beautiful and ambitious, catching the eye of Tancredi. Tancredi courts Angelica, and their romance is a pivotal part of the novel. Their relationship symbolizes the merging of the old aristocracy with the new bourgeoisie. Angelica's beauty and Tancredi's charm make them an ideal couple, but their union is also practical, signifying the social changes sweeping through Sicily. The prince approves of the match, recognizing it as a necessary alliance. He is both melancholic and realistic about the changes. The engagement of Tancredi and Angelica is celebrated with a grand ball at the palace in Donna Fugata, marking one of the novel's most memorable scenes. The ball is a lavish affair, highlighting the fading glory of the aristocracy. As the unification of Italy progresses, the new Italian government offers the prince a senatorial position. However, he declines, understanding that his time has passed and that the new Italy requires new leaders. He is acutely aware of the decline of his class and prefers to fade away with dignity. 
Instead, the prince helps Don Calogero secure a title of nobility, recognizing that men like Don Calogero represent the future. This act further signifies the passing of the old order and the rise of the new. In the final part of the novel, we see the prince in his old age, contemplating his life and the changes that have occurred. He reflects on the inevitability of death and the futility of human endeavors. The once powerful prince is now frail and resigned, accepting the end of his era. The prince dies peacefully, but his death symbolizes the end of an epoch. His family, particularly his daughters, cling to the past, unable to adapt to the new realities. The novel concludes with a poignant scene where the family's old relics, including a stuffed leopard, the symbol of the Selena family, are disposed of, further emphasizing the end of an era.